Hello, let's look at a problem. Um, this is a this is solving two equations with two unknown variables, x and y. And you can use several different methods to do this. Um, you can use the, the substitution method. You can also use the elimination method, which is also called the addition or subtraction method. Or you can use the graphing method to solve this. Um, the graphing method is an estimation it's not going to give the exact value because it's just difficult when you're sketching the different graphs but elimination and a substitution method will both give you the exact solution so let's use substitution method step one first thing you want to do is solve either ver either equation for any variable choose the easiest variable to solve for since this one is x with a coefficient of one minus 5y equals 9 well this has a coefficient of 1 so the easiest one to solve what solve for will be your x so step 1 I want to bring this negative 5y to the other side technically I'm adding 5y on both sides so now you're gonna have the equation x equals 5y plus 9 notice we added 5y added 5y and instead of writing that out I just brought it over to the other side next step since x is equal to 5y plus 9 take what you just solved for x substitute that into the other equation for x because x is the same as this expression so I plug it in and solve for x so now you're gonna have 2 times 5y plus 9 plus 3y, I'm just writing down everything from that equation, equals 5. And now I'm going to use linear, this is a linear equation I'm going to solve, and we're going to just distribute and simplify everything. Okay, here we just distribute 10y plus 18 plus 3y equals 5, like terms, 13y plus 18 equals 5. Now you want to subtract 18 on both sides so now you have 13 y equals negative because that's 5 minus 18 or 5 plus negative 18 same thing which is negative 13 divided by 13 y is equal to negative 1 now you have your y solution plug it back in to solve for x you can use this equation to plug it back in this equation or this equation because it's already solved for x here it's easy to use this one but it doesn't matter you could have used either one of them to plug it back in so I'm going to substitute it back in here so now you're going to have 5 times negative 1 plus 9 well that's simply negative 5 plus 9 so x is equal to 4 so my solution as a written as an order pair is 4 negative 1